All right, so jumping into Kusama today, we're gonna dive into this token and kind of what it is, what it means for you guys. Should you be investing in it? All that good stuff. And of course, we love to get the ideas from you. So again, great stuff. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back to Tech Path. All right, Kusama. Love the name, by the way. It is kind of a second generation of Polkadot, which is kind of an experimental version of how Polkadot is built. And the idea behind Kusama, and I want to kind of jump to their, their website, is they create these things called parachains, which essentially are somewhat of a incubator or of sorts for blockchain developers before their project goes live on Polkadot itself. And when you look at how they're scaling and kind of what they've done, uh, this is something that I think has a lot of uh, validity in terms of how projects can excel and also advance quickly because it helps developers understand what is broken before they roll out into a blockchain. They have these things called slots, which they auction off, which is kind of cool. And it does give the capability. Remember, Kusama and Polkadot are two different uh, blockchains, even though Kusama is built off of the Polkadot code. So the idea behind it, though, is to help foster this kind of innovation that's occurring. And there's a lot of different projects that have kind of come into the place. The origin of Kusama, if many of you don't follow, uh, Gavin Wood, who was the co-founder, I think, yeah, co-founder and CTO over at Ethereum, was one of the guys that kind of brought Kusama to life. That's a big thing. I want to jump to a couple stories here, and we'll get into some charts here today and all that good stuff. Let's jump to the story. Fundamental analysis here. This just kind of gets into this whole idea around where it's going. As I said, it's a network of specialized blockchains that offer a high level of interoperability. And again, it's all coming into the code base of Polkadot. Uh, it is one of those things, it's a very transparent uh, element. It was established in 2019. It's governed by a community that votes and controls the network's evolution. So you get all that good. Back to Gavin Wood, you know, brilliant guy. And also one that I think when you look at where Kusama and other projects are going, I always look at those founders because it's a big, big issue in terms of where the blockchain industry is right now. It's also advancing a lot here recently in terms of the price position. I also want to jump to the Hidden Gems article that was done uh, and this one right here is kind of cool because this gets into the auctions and how the contenders and who they are and also some of the players are going to kind of come into this. So back to the point is, is that it's a self, it's basically three, when you look at Polkadot, it's three different distinct networks. You've got Kusama and Rococo, which I love. There was a restaurant named Rococo that I remember. Anyway, <laughs> each has its own functionality and kind of the layer of where it's going. Some of the projects that are coming into these programs Kilt Protocol, this one is kind of cool. The one I really like was Ocean. And I want you to kind of check each one of these out. This is a great article on this if you just search on Kusama and kind of just what they're doing in terms of the protocols. This one was kind of cool because it unlocks the value of data by giving owners and consumers the ability to publish and discover their own their own consumed, consumed data without compromising their privacy. Mainly what it means is you are in control of your data and you have the ability maybe in the future through a blockchain of releasing that data to places maybe like Facebook or Twitter or those kind of things, this will be pretty big. And at some point, it's gonna give you the ability for the holders to stake on the data itself. That's a cool feature. I love that one. And again, these are, these are different projects that are vying for these auctions that'll be rolling out here. Then you've got the Darwinian Network. This is a good one. I love what they're doing. And also there was a couple others that have kind of started to surface that are interesting in the sense of just the ideas. Remember the ideas of these like Ocean, these are ideas that are, I wouldn't necessarily call them full-fledged projects just yet. Most likely they're going to be adopted either through Kusama or and or into the Polkadot blockchain code. So the idea is to bring these developers in because they only get these auctions for so long simply means, uh, if you look at Kusama, it's actually shorter than what Polkadot gives. I think it's in the 40 week range or so. So you have 40 weeks to kind of build your project out and then roll it up into the chain itself. So there's a lot of cool elements here in terms of how they're fostering innovation, interoperability, all that cool stuff. I wanna jump over to a couple of things here. Let's go to trade the chain real quick, just to look at where the KSM is rocking and we'll take a quick look here. All right, so if I can spell that right. All right, so let's get into Kasama and where the current sentiment holds, and then we'll look at ours. 
You can kind of see the price action here on the one day looking pretty decent. And then this right here is one of the recent moves that we saw, of course, with what was a little bit negative sentiment right here, trading at under 50, which is the kind of that halfway point there on trade the chain. Pricing started to move up here a little bit in August 13th. We saw a little flat. And then now here we have seen kind of this recent move, which is up to 320 bucks is that high. So, and of course we did see a little bit of a sentiment bubble come in right there. So that's, that's not bad. I think the key here, when you look at the chart, and this is the one that I wanted to bring up, is the sentiment on Kusama. This was back right here on August 11th. Uh, this little bubble right here was 56.31. And then here's the thing, amplification 60.24. Anytime you have amp flipping on the upside like this in a short window like that, it starts to indicate upticks in movement. And that's exactly what happened. We kind of followed the amplification line right into the current layer of predict prediction tool for amplification. And right now we're looking at a sentiment bubble that was the 17th of August through 18th of August, just last, hopefully this is coming out pretty soon. But the sentiment was 59.34, went up again, ticked up just a little bit, and also amplification continued to rise a little bit here. So we're actually floating on the high side right here. Let me get my brush and we'll kind of show you. The high side of where we've been tracking right now is currently where Kasama is trading. So it is definitely in line to continue. Again, I hate these little bubbles right here. When we see these little hooks, it starts to get me a little concerned about a project in terms of its price prediction capability through amplification. Something helps us in understanding how much tweet volume is going, how much social volume is going, and kind of where the price point is starting to lay up. And this is kind of what we're seeing right now with Kusama. It definitely is on an uptrend, which I think is going to continue. Now, will, will it get back to kind of that line of all-time high, 320, I shouldn't say all-time high, but 325 right here? It's got a little bit of section right here that is and seems to be above that point, but it's a very small amount. So that may be a line of resistance that just starts to play back into the potential for where Kasama is going. So this is going to be one to watch. It definitely is one of those projects as we see altcoins start to move and projects also just because of Polkadot and the relationship to Kasama and also these new developments and the auctions kind of coming into play. There's a lot happening, which means we're going to see more and more, you know, people getting into the network effect of where this project is going. And I think that is one of the things that helps support how this works. Remember, these are market movers that we do. And the idea behind these market movers are pretty simple. We just put together a few stories, a little bit of background research, do some tokenomics analysis, kind of glean up as much as we can before we present to you. But it is not investment advice. Obviously, you want to do your own research. All right. So wrapping up on this chart is you can kind of see that there are some things that you've got to look out for. This is somewhere around August 24th. And potentially, we could see us busting past that $325 mark, which holds in around the 27th of August. So there is some light here, but with the current action right now, it is driving hard, and we need to watch this. Now, we did catch the spike right here that we've got that's in the current runout with uh, Kasama, but the question is, maybe this thing starts to really over-index a little bit and kind of push back out here earlier. The good point is, is that it is an uptrend, so that's the main thing to be looking for on this project. Again, there are a lot of projects, the auctions themselves, many act activities are happening that will create that kind of network effect around projects like this and the fact that it's related, obviously, to Polkadot. So a lot of good things here. We are going to dive into more of the tokenomics behind Kusama. And again, it is in our list right now of top 100 projects that are breaking it down. And we are gonna be going and eventually one day publishing this list so that you guys will have an action with, with different kinds of scores rather than what you might get on CoinMarketCap where it's just ranking volume, trade volume, et cetera. This will be very similar to what Trade the Chain is doing but less on uh, things like the tweet volume and more on sentiment, amplification, and also other credentials around crossover. And that's around crossover blockchain data. So that's going to be interesting to, to see. If you guys are listening to the podcast over here, make sure and give us some stars. We love that. If you're here on YouTube, make sure and just subscribe. This is the kind of stuff we do cover here. Of course, we do cover a lot in the other tech spaces as well. If you want to hit me up on Twitter, 
do that at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.